Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft Class, specifically Bradley Chubb, defensive end out of North Carolina State. Uh, we already did a video on him in terms of his production analytics, but Bradley Chubb went to the Combine, did his athleticism data, and this is going to be just a whole profile on what Bradley Chubb is based on paper and what that says about his future as an NFL prospect. So we're going to get into pretty much everything. We're going to get into the three cone because I do know there's a lot of guys that were apprehensive about his three cone. And this video is mainly just going to talk about the importance of the three cone, where Bradley Chubb kind of fills into that area, and like what the three cone says about him as a potential uh, prospect. So we got a lot of different things to get into in this video. And if you're new to the channel and you're new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So again, if there's anything that you're not familiar with, you can just kind of go there to give a general sort of idea about what I'm talking about uh, in terms of how I come to the numbers that I do. But let's get to it. So first off, when it comes to Bradley Chubb and his production profile, just to start off with that, um, again, had a 95.18 explosive, uh, not explosive, but solo tackle mark share score, 91.54 sack score, and a 98.72 tackle for loss score. When you look at the bottom and thresholds for all pro players and pro bowl players, he pretty much hits above the bottom and thresholds at those particular spots. And he definitely hits above what the average score is for an all pro player, a pro bowl player, uh, in terms of solo tackle data and tackle for loss data. His Sack data is a little bit below average what most all pro players are in terms of their sack data, um, but definitely uh, a solid overall profile if you don't say, you know, if I don't say so myself. So um, he definitely is a guy that just has a very good overall production profile, if not one of the best production profiles in this particular draft class. When you get to his athleticism data, uh, he had a 90.64 explosive lower body strength score, a 93.72 speed score, and a 71.82 flexibility score. Uh, when you look at the data, he doesn't quite hit all the all-pro bottom and thresholds uh, for uh, all-pro players in terms of his balance or his flexibility score. Um, the lowest flexibility score that an all-pro player has had is a 76.70 out of 100, and Chubb was only a 71.82. Um, he does hit at least the Pro Bowl area in terms of his athleticism data, um, but that is the only sort of uh, question mark or concern with him. Uh, when you look at the averages at the position, though, so like the average explosion score average speed score and average flexibility score for a pro bowler that is the only area we also has a couple breakdowns as well because he's a little bit below average what the flexibility score is for a pro bowl player um, which gets to the flexibility testing so i'm um, getting to the three cone uh, when it comes to bradley chubb's three cone it is definitely a concern uh because of because of this main reason um, the three cone oftentimes can tell you a lot about the potential of a player um, for example, every single multiple All-Pro edge rusher since 1999 had at least a 7-11 in terms of their three cone, and every single Pro Bowl player, uh, multiple Pro Bowl player in terms of since 1999 had at least a 7.37 three cone. So Chubb is basically at the very, very bottom end of the spectrum of three cones for a Pro Bowl player, which is definitely a concern, and is something that I think a lot of people do need to take into account. That Chubb is a guy that is explosive and fast but does lack balance of a truly elite edge rusher. So that's the thing about him. Like the, the bottom line is, is that if you think Chubb is a guy that's going to become this multiple all pro um, type edge rusher, that's probably not going to be the case just because of his issues in terms of balance for his size. But there is a chance that he's still going to be a very productive NFL player. And it's just a matter of how do you balance that? How do you balance the fact that potential wise, his potential is not sky high. His potential is not, like, there is a cap to his potential in terms of how good he can be because of his balance issues. But he has a very similar profile to Jadavian Clowney. So, for example, this is what Jadavian Clowney's athleticism data was, which is very similar uh, to Chubb. Clowney definitely is a more athletic version of Chubb. So just to throw that out there, of course, is that, that Clowney was a mu had a much better speed score uh, his uh, and his flexibility score was also better. And on top of that, Clowney also had a better three cone. Clowney's three cone was a 7.27. But I think if you're looking at Chubb from a athleticism standpoint, I think you're basically looking at a poor man's uh, Jadavian Clowney. 
you know, you're looking at a guy that, like Clowney, uh, has become a top 10 overall edge rusher um, in the NFL. You know, Clowney is definitely a guy that, when it comes to his impact, um, every single game, uh, he's a top 10 type player, you know, and some weeks he might even be top five, you know, in terms of his overall data. If he, if he has a good mismatch, if he goes up against a certain offensive tackle that has issues dealing with uh, speed and those other sort of things, it has his own sort of balance issues. So I think that's the only thing with Chubb is Chubb is a guy that based on his potential, based on his overall data, there is a cap. You know, there's a cap there. This is not a guy that is going to become a multiple all pro player. Um, very unlikely. It's never happened since 1999. So why is it going to happen now is essentially what uh, I'm saying. Um, especially the fact that it hasn't really happened with Clowney. And again, I'm talking about multiple all pro. I'm not talking about one. I'm talking about multiple all pro. The fact that it hasn't exactly happened with Clowney either is another indication of just how important flexibility is, how important balance is um, when it comes to edge rushers and the position. So now, the bottom line is, if you consider Bradley Chubb to be the top edge rusher in this draft class, I'm not faulting you at all. I think he definitely has the potential to be the top one because he was very productive at the college level, and he does have above-average explosiveness and above-average speed. But I do think that if this is a guy that, like if your team trades multiple draft picks and move up to take him, like giving up future draft picks for a guy who, in terms of the rareness of him, he's not exactly a generational talent, that's where I have some problems with him. So, But other than that, again, I think he's a good player. I think film-wise, he's definitely pretty fantastic on film. But I do think that you just have to realize that his potential is not as sky-high as compared to other types of edge rushers in the past, like Joey Bosa, uh, Miles Garrett even, or, or even Clowney. You know, Clowney was a better prospect overall than uh, Chubb coming out. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gymmetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Uh, hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.